My name is Don Moore and I'm the Managing Director of the Back Pain Relief Association. In this video I'll be showing you how to do supercharged breathing. The root of your tongue sits on your airway. So when you pull your tongue forward, it opens your airway. The root of your tongue sits on your airway. And when you poke your tongue out, it opens your airway and you can breathe better through your nose. Like this. Which gives you supercharged breathing. It's a very simple concept. Now, you can't walk around all the time with your tongue poked out. However, if you put your tongue down between your bottom teeth and your bottom lip, or actually on the string that runs between your bottom gum and your bottom lip, it makes a bulge above your chin. That still opens the airway enough to give you much better breathing. Or, alternatively, you can put your tongue in your left cheek hollow or your right cheek hollow. When you put your tongue down in front of your teeth, <coughs> that tongue position of itself relieves cramps. You see, you have reflex points in your mouth. You may have heard of acupuncture points or foot reflexology. Well, the mouth has over 500 reflexes in it and that reflex points point helps to get rid of cramps. So, if you get a cramp such as asthma, a leg cramp, menstrual cramps, angina, migraines, which is a cramping of the smooth, uh, smooth muscles of the blood vessels in the brain, uh, any cramp stitch in, in the diaphragm, cramping of the diaphragm when you're running, if you put your tongue down here, it overcomes the cramping. Straight away, just put your tongue down, take a few deep belly, belly breaths, and the cramping will disappear. As well, if you put the tongue in the left cheek hollow, it's for your respiratory system, so it helps you to breathe better. If you have asthma or bronchitis, in your right cheek hollow, it helps your skeletal alignment, so it helps you to align your skeleton. That's of course really helpful for back pain. On the left of your left lip corner, it's for your muscular system, and on the right of your right lip corner, it's for your tendons and ligaments. So, what you've got there is five tongue positions that can be very useful, although you don't have to exaggerate them as much as I do to show you on camera. You just have to place your tongue in that position. They open the airway and they do different things that help different systems, physiological systems, in your body. I'll run through them again for you. Tongue down here. Cramps relieving tongue position. Tongue on the left cheek hollow. Respiratory system. Tongue on the right cheek hollow. Skeletal system. Tongue on the left of the left lip corner. Muscular system. Tongue on the right of the right lip corner tendons and ligaments, which can be a big part of back spasm and back, neck and joint problems. It includes the fascia, which is the tendinous material that wraps around muscles, and most people when they say they have muscular aches and pains, in fact, need this position. When you breathe in your belly, you will find that breathing with these tongue positions can help dramatically and you can uh, relieve pain very quickly using this simple breathing system and finding the right tongue position for you. Now, some people uh, think that breathing 
happens in your chest. Unfortunately, they have practiced chest breathing from a young age and this causes them a lot of stiff neck and shoulder tension. In fact, what happens is that you breathe and when you breathe in, your belly comes out and when you breathe out, your belly goes in. This is because you have a diaphragm, which is the largest, strongest, most powerful muscle in your body. It sits all the way around your torso and it's a dome-shaped muscle and it pulls down and displaces your belly, pulling the air down and into your lungs. So when you breathe properly, you pull down with your diaphragm. You breathe in and your belly goes out. You breathe out and your belly goes in. You breathe in and your waist goes out. You breathe out and your waist goes in. You breathe in and your back goes out. You breathe out and your back goes in. You massage your back from the breathing that you do inside with diaphragmatic breathing, with belly breathing. In fact, back pain and poor breathing are directly correlated. And if you breathe well, you can help yourself with back pain using the supercharged breathing with tongue positions. What you have learned in this video is one basic concept we use for supercharged regeneration. To learn far more advanced techniques, you are invited to attend one of my seminars. For a free seminar on how to relieve back, neck and joint pain and 300 other conditions of distress, phone the Back Pain Relief Association on 0011, that's international, 61, that's Australia, 7, that's Queensland, 32, that's Brisbane, 691954, or email us on backpainreliefassociation at yahoo.com.au. I'll say the phone number again, 0011 61 7 32 69 1954.